Then we look at density and, and what the point of density is. Uh, we'll start by looking at, at a satsuma. Um, now, as scientists, what we do is we, we measure things so we can compare one thing to another. So what might I measure um, for the satsuma? Well, I might measure its mass. Um, the mass is how much matter there is in it. Um, Mass and weight are often confused, um, and, and understandably so, because in, in the real world, um, people nearly always use weight when they really or should say mass. So what, uh, the mass is the amount of matter contained, which is measured in grams or kilograms. The weight is the force exerted downwards due to gravity. Um, and so weight is measured in newtons. Uh, and if, if somebody was to ask you what your weight was, you should really just play all 720 newtons, but they, they think you're a bit strange. Weight watchers, for example, um, should be really called mass watchers, because when we talk about weight in the real world, what we usually mean is mass. So I can measure the mass of my satsuma. I can also measure the size of it, so I can measure it without, I can measure the volume, I could measure the volume by putting it in water and, and, and we'll look at that later. So will any of those things, the mass or the, the size of it, the volume, will, will that tell me whether it would float in water or not? So here's a quick question for you. If I put the satsuma in the water, will it float? Okay, so let's have a look and see. And the answer is, yes, it does. So what if I peeled my satsuma? So I have another one here and I can again, I can measure its mass and I can measure its volume. But will that tell me whether it can float or not? No, it can't. So if I put it in, would, does a peel satsuma float or not? Have a think. And when I put it in the water, we can see it sinks. So here's the question. What property is it that decides whether it floats or it sinks? It's not the mass and it's not the volume. What it is is the density uh, and what density is is the ratio of the mass to volume and what we mean by that is how heavy is something for a given size um, and that allows us to compare materials and this is really important when it comes to things like um, design so supposing I want to make a, a helicopter um, this one has a few design flaws but if I want to make a helicopter what kind of materials do I want in it? I, I want my helicopter to be as light as possible, considering the size it is. So I, I would use materials with a very low density, um, but high strength if possible. When we're making bikes, for example, I own three bikes. I own a steel bike, I own a titanium one, and I own a carbon fiber one. And, and the carbon fiber one has a lower density than the others. The titanium one um, is in between the two. Uh, and the steel one is um, but heavy, much heavier for its, weight, for its size than the other two, but it's also stronger. So, so each of these materials has different properties uh, and we need to use them. So, so density allows us to compare something very specific. Um, it allows us to say, will things float or sink? So, for floating or sinking, um, we can decide whether something will float or sink depending on what's called its relative density. So relative to water, whether something floats or sinks. So water has a density of around about one gram per centimeter cubed. Um, that's uh, one kilogram for every liter or a cubic meter would uh, weigh, uh, have a mass of a metric ton. Um, this becomes important when, um, for example, I'm a kayaker and, and, and my kayak sometimes needs emptying out of water. And if I try and lift my kayak up, sometimes it contains three quarters of a, a meter cubed of water, which means it weighs 750 kilograms. Um, so it's impossible to pick up. But when it comes to density, if the density of the uh, satsuma is greater 
than that of water, then it will sink. If it's less than water, then it floats. So the question is, why is an peeled satsuma have a density greater than an unpeeled satsuma? Well, in order to answer that question, you'd need to actually look at the peel. Um, and if I were to put the peel on water, would we anticipate that the peel would float? Um, yes, it does. It actually floats quite high, mainly because it's got um, lots of air pockets in it, um, which actually um, reduces the density of the of the satsuma as a whole to, to less than that of water.